A father told me today that his 12, 14 and 16 year old children uh, have been banned from playing basketball because they have no vaccine pass. A volleyball coach in Mayo uh, was told not to accept girls between the ages of 12 and 17 if they have no vaccine pass. Another kickboxing coach, again, told not to accept children uh, for the same reasons. A young girl stopped going on a school tour because she has no vaccine pass. First of all, discrimination is wrong. Second of all, this makes no sense. Transmission is happening between people who are vaccinated. If you want to st stop transmission, antigen test is the way to do it, and it doesn't have the effect of discriminating. And the children have suffered so much with regards to COVID. They've had their education hammered. They've had their social development radically arrested uh, over the last year. It is incredible now that they're now facing being othered, being segregated, and being banned from doing things that is good for their health and good for their mental health. It's wrong, it's cruel, and it's useless. Tonishta, will you reverse it? Thank you. Thanks very much, Deputy. Uh, I think it's important to say at the outset that um, uh, the vaccines uh, do reduce transmission. Uh, they don't eliminate it, but they do reduce it. And it's one of the reasons why it's in um, anyone's interest uh, to get vaccinated, um, because it, you reduce the risk of you uh, transmitting the virus to other people, as well as considerably uh, reducing the risk of you being hospitalised, needing intensive care, um, or dying as a consequence of the virus. Um, uh, but obviously these are decisions that individuals have to make and parents have to make uh, with respect to their children. Uh, in relation to the indoor sports uh, issue, this has come up um, a couple of times. A number of deputies raised it earlier on as well. Uh, and I have committed to um, uh, seeking a further examination of those regulations um, because my understanding is that uh, where you have a mixed group of children, some vaccinated, some not, it is possible for them to train and do activities in pods. Um, but like I say, I, I will follow up on this and, and come back to the deputies. Thank you.